Welcome to Electron Align, and here's a good example of how to calculate the moment of inertia of an interesting object. Let's pick a wagon wheel. It says here, what is the moment of an inertia of a wagon wheel with eight spokes, each of length 0.5 meters and mass of 0.75 kilograms plus a rim of 2.8 kilograms. So let's draw a little picture of this. Uh, so we have a, uh, a rim, and this can be considered a thin rim, so that all of the mass of the rim is pretty well at a distance uh, r away from the center. And then we have eight spokes. So we have uh, center right here. We have spokes going this way, spokes going this way, and some more spokes in this direction, and spokes in this direction. All right. OK, so what's the moment of inertia of this? Well, you need to recognize that it's going to be the moment of inertia of each of the eight spokes added to the moment of inertia of the rim. So we can say that I is equal to eight times the moment of inertia of each spoke plus the moment of inertia of the rim. All right, now, each spoke is basically a, um, a bar object, a thin bar that rotates about its end. And the moment of inertia of a bar that rotates about its end is eight times the mass of each bar times the radius or the length of each bar. Let's do this again. It's actually one third the mass of each bar times the length of each bar squared. So eight times the moment of inertia of that plus the moment of inertia of the rim. And so let's go M of the spoke. So we differentiate the mass of the spoke with the mass of the rim. And so the, uh, the moment of inertia of the rim is like a solid cylinder, but it's uh, not a solid, an open cylinder with all the mass at the very end. So that would be equal to the mass of the rim times r squared. In this case, r would be L squared. L is the radius of the rim. And that's how we figure that out. Now what we have to do is plug in the numbers. So eight times one third the mass of each spoke is 0 0.75 kilograms, 0 0.75 kilograms times the length of each one, and the length is um, 0.5 meters, so 0 0.5 meters, and that's squared, plus the mass of the rim, which is 2.8 kilograms times the length, or in this case the radius, that would be 0 0.5 meters, and that's also squared. All right, now, working this out, I think I'm going to grab my calculator here. It's always handy to have one of these close by. So we have 0.5 squared times 0.75 divided by 3 times 8 equals, so that is equal to 0 0.5. Now units is kilograms meters squared, which are the units for moment of inertia, plus the moment of inertia of our wagon wheel, of the rim of the wagon wheel, so point. 5 squared uh, times 2.8 equals 0 0.7 kilograms meter squared and adding that together that would be 1.2 kilogram meter squared for the moment of inertia of the entire wagon wheel. So again, there's a good example of how to find the moment of inertia of an object. You find the moment of, of inertia of each little piece. There's eight of the sp eight spokes. They're of course all the same. They all have the same moment of inertia. Add that to the moment of inertia of the rim, which is a cylinder with all the mass at distance r away from the center. In this case, r is equal to l, and then just add it all together, and you get the total moment of inertia of this object. So pretty straightforward when you do it that way. Okay, off to some more examples.